creepy clown mask, scary tattoos, and peeking boogers. These are the 10 weird toys kids played with in the 1990s. Number 10. Tickle Me Elmo This happened less than three decades ago. Tickle Me Elmo, the most popular item in the country, was a doll that required hugs in order to smile and vibrate. The toy was first manufactured in the United States, and it gradually gained popularity before reaching its peak during the 1996 holiday shopping season. Some incidents of violence were reported due to the item's limited supply. And by the end of 1996, it was allegedly reported that the toy, which had an MSRP of $28.99, was being resold by scalpers for up to $1,500. This toy responds to pressure by shaking, vibrating, and giggling in a distinctive manner. It was so loved and every kid wanted one. Number 9. Gooey Louie who would have thought that playing a simple booger game improves hand-eye coordination and fine motor abilities? Well, playing this game was so enjoyable to many of us back in the day, and looking back, we can't just forget the amusing but bizarre feeling in a hurry. In 1995, Goliath Games began selling this board game that Craig Clark Williamson had developed for the Pressman Toy Corporation, and Gooey Louie appeared on the toy store shelves and on television a few times. The most interesting and suspense-filled moment of this toy game is when you have to carefully pull out the plastic boogers from Louie's nose and head without causing his brain to burst through its skull. Number 8. Dragon Toys Titanic The Titanic was not just one of the world's biggest and most expensive ships ever built, it also numbered among the most sophisticated ships in terms of technology. Unfortunately, the RMS Titanic met its dead end as it sank in the North Atlantic Ocean on April 15, 1912. Following the tragedy which took about 1,496 lives, both local and international measures were put in place against future occurrences. Nevertheless, it couldn't make up for the huge losses recorded. Wait a minute, could anyone actually make a joke out of Titanic owing to the enormous loss experienced? This is one memory-awakening toy that makes me wonder who on earth approved of the concept. It was a tragedy. Why would you turn them into a cheap toy? If you think these were weird, things are about to get even weirder. Keep watching to see what's next. Number 7. Stone Protectors Stone Protectors is one of the 90s weird-looking toys that never lasted on the market. In the 1990s, a fruitless attempt was made to promote stone protectors by merging the popular Ninja Turtles with troll dolls in an effort to appeal to kids. The first troll dolls were made in 1959 by Thomas Dam as replicas of the trolls from Norwegian folklore. Trolls emerged as one of the most popular toys in stores in America later in the 1980s and 90s, and the majority of the trolls originated from two manufacturers, Russ and Ace Novelty. Trolls were first targeted at young girls, but Hasbro decided to join in on the fun in 1992 and chose to market trolls to boys under the label Battle Trolls. The same year, Ace released Stone Protectors in an effort to join the boys' troll line trend. The 5-inch tall toys have soft, rubbery heads and multicolored synthetic hair. Apart from the fact that these toys didn't sell much, they had real ugly-looking faces. Number 6. Susie Snapshot Snap Did you know that the first ever selfie recorded took about 10 to 15 minutes? Maybe hilarious, but it's true. The evolution of snapshots over the years is indeed worth talking about. Of course, pictures of older decades are not worth comparing to modern-day pictures. In the 90s, we had this toy that allows Susie to make posts while being snapped. You see, Susie's heart necklace had a sensor that communicated with a toy camera. This, however, shows some level of advancement in technology. When you press the button on the camera, a flash activates the sensor on the necklace, causing Susie to strike a pose while putting on clothes and accessories and styling her gorgeous hair. It's ridiculous how you spend the whole day enjoying the excitement you get from watching Susie take several snapshots. Number 5. Mondo Blitzers Back in the 90s, kids' toys featuring skateboards and skateboarding were quite popular, and Kenner contributed to this trend. But did Kenner's contributions go down well with everyone? Well, skateboarding's cool element is mixed with a few controversies, which led to some teachers and parents complaining about the violent and vulgar figures in Kenner's 1991 book, Mondo Blitzers. They were aimed at males and featured weapons including knives, butcher cleavers, firearms, and bombs. The line comprised roughly 41 and a half inch figures from various gangs, such as the Butt Kickers, Chunk Blowers, Skull Crushers, and the Concrete Breakfast Gang. Each skateboarder had a distinct personality such as the Barf Bucket Knight, who liked to dismember people and the shark bait. Sadly, most of those who were deeply disturbed by the toys as they were advertised to young children demanded a boycott against Kenner. 
In response, Kenner said he would replace some of the character names to make them less violent or insulting. Unfortunately, it was too late for the ferocious Mondo Blitzers, and the line was canceled in 1992. Number 4. Rollerblade Barbie When Mattel released the Rollerblade Barbie in 1991, they believed they had struck gold. Little did they know, however, that the development team should have stayed at home. Barbie's rollerblade set included some amusing extras like a fanny bag, knee pads, and of course a pair of rollerblades, but they weren't just any rollerblades, actually they were a pair of lighters. When Barbie skated on a flat surface, sparks would shoot out because her skates had a tiny wheel similar to the one used in cigarette lighters. Everything went well until that fateful day when a girl and her four-year-old brother were playing and boom! This young girl had sprayed her younger brother with hairspray before they started to play with her new rollerblade Barbie. The girl dragged the rollerblade Barbie across her brother's butt, setting her brother's butt on fire. Of course, this left the rollerblade Barbie with a sad ending, which remains a contributive factor to why Mattel immediately halted production. Starting now, things get even weirder. Keep watching until the end. Number 3. Harry Hurlers In 1985, a line of foam balls with horrifyingly intricate and hideous faces became widespread. With these gross-faced balls, many copycats attempted to replicate the Madball formula but one in particular merits a standing ovation. Harry Hurlers by Katako from 1992. The scalps and colors on these balls were actually attractive, and the line included several intriguing characters like Sergeant, Air Aid, Dogpile, Doc Hairline, Buzzhead, and Moldy Locks. However, their lengthy 9-inch ponytail gave them an almost shrunken head-like aspect that gave them an impression that was not entirely accurate. Number 2. Water Snakes these soft, entertaining, tactile water snake toys are a wonderful method to support the growth of motor control. It's an interesting fidget toy that keeps focus and attention. The wonderful thing about these wiggle water snake toys is that they're entertaining to play with, and also help you stay focused and keep you busy. In addition, this water trick snake stress toy, which can survive hours of straining and squeezing. But when compared to the wide range of options kids could explore to keep themselves busy nowadays, this toy could be the worst choice for anyone. Kids now have access to many modern toys and even mobile games that are so much more enjoyable to play with than the water snake toy. Number 1. Balloon from Balchek Everyone seemed to hype this so-called legendary balloon ball of Balchek, and they wonder what's indeed unique about this ball. Well, the legendary balloon ball of Balchek is not so much a masterpiece after all. Simply place a balloon inside a cotton bag and inflate it. There is definitely nothing difficult or special about playing with this toy. Balchek Balloon Ball was a type of fabric bag in which you could put a deflated balloon in. It was created by Milton Bradley in 1989. Everyone loved it, and it gained fame in the early 90s. The Balchek Balloon Ball can be made more exciting by filling it with coins and water. The coin's weight will cause the ball to randomly veer off to the side when tossed, making it more challenging to catch. The actual concept behind the ball is to create a balloon immune to bursting. Is that all, really? How did kids even enjoy playing with this ball in the first place? Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.